tables in MS Word 2010. MS Word is very user-friendly word processing software that makes our work easier. One of the features that helps us is the tables function. A table consists of vertical and horizontal lines. The vertical lines are known as columns and horizontal lines are known as rows. The intersection of a row and a column forms a cell. The data is written in the cell. Creating a table You can insert a table in a Word document by using the Tables group on Insert tab. When you click on the table icon, a menu of options opens. You can choose any of the listed ways to create a table. These options are Grid option. The rows and columns in a table form a grid of cells. The grid option allows you to choose the number of columns and rows. So, a 5 by 6 table means that the table has 5 columns and 6 rows. To insert a table using the grid option, scroll your mouse over the grid that you want in the table. The number of rows and columns that you are selecting will be displayed. Remember that the table is inserted at the current cursor position. The next option is Insert Table. Clicking on Insert Table option opens the Insert Table dialog box. Here you can enter the number of columns and rows and then click on OK button to insert the table. Your table will be inserted in the document. Another option for inserting a table is Draw Table. This is an interesting method of inserting a table. When you select this option, your mouse pointer changes into a pencil. Word will draw straight lines for you wherever you drag the pencil. The place where the line will be drawn is shown with dotted lines. If you are satisfied with the suggested dotted line, release the mouse and the line will be drawn. Once the table is drawn, you can work with it and design it like any other regular table. Excel Spreadsheet Excel is a great program for working on numbers. Word gives you the option to insert an Excel sheet in the document as well. When you select the Excel Spreadsheet option, a spreadsheet with a single sheet is inserted at the current cursor position. You can work on this sheet like you work on a normal worksheet. When the table is deselected, the row and column numbers will not be visible. You can double click within the table to bring back the spreadsheet view. The last option is to insert quick tables. MS Word has many predefined table styles that you can use. These predefined tables can be inserted in your document using the quick table option. Entering data in a table. After inserting a table, you can enter data in it. Follow the steps to insert a blank table in your document and then add data to it. Use the Insert tab to insert a table in the document. Insert Table dialog box will appear. Enter column and row values, then click on OK button to insert the table. The number of rows and columns will depend on the data that you want to enter. Take your mouse to the first cell and click on it. Now it's time to enter the data. As an example, let us create a table that gives some basic information about your friends. Add the headings, serial number, name, birthday and phone number in the first row. Add the information about your friends in the table 
in the rows under the headings. With the use of a table, the data now becomes easy to present and understand. Insertions and deletions Even after insertion of table, you can make modifications in it according to your need. For this, we use table tools. Two temporary tabs appear here after a table is inserted. These are design and layout. You can insert rows and columns in the table using these tabs. Inserting columns and rows. Follow the steps to insert rows and columns in an existing table. Click the cell in the inserted table near which you want to insert row or column. Click on Layout tab. Four options are available for inserting rows and columns in the Rows and Columns group. You can select any of the options depending on where you want to insert the new row or column. Adding a row above or below. If you need to add new row within an existing table, for example, if you want to add new friend name before and after Aradhya Singh, then follow these steps. Click on cell where you want to add a new row above or below. To add row above the cell, click on Insert Above option in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab. A new row will be added just above the selected cell. To add row below the cell, click on Insert Below option in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab. A new row will be added just below the selected cell. Adding a column left or right. To add additional columns in an existing table, follow these steps. Click on cell where you want to add a new column. To add a column to the left of the cell, click on insert left option in the rows and columns group on the layout tab. A new blank column will be added to the left of the selected cell. To add column to the right of the cell, click on Insert Right option in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab. A new column will be added to the right of the selected cell. Deleting Rows and Columns After filling in all the data, sometimes you are left with some extra columns or rows. To delete those extra columns and rows, follow the steps given. Look at the example. Here, the table is inserted with four rows and six columns. Now, we want to delete the rows from below. Select the cells you want to delete and click on Layout tab. Click on Delete option. A menu appears with four options. If you select the Delete cells option, a dialog box opens up on the screen. Choose any of the four options. To shift cells left or up, the selected cells will be deleted. Here we have selected the Delete Entire Row option. If you have not selected the desired cells, the cell where the cursor is currently placed will be deleted. But in this case, you will be left with a distorted table. Formatting Table When a table is inserted, Two new tabs, Design and Layout, are made available under the Table Tools tab. You can change style, shade, border and effect of your table using the Design tab of Table Tools. Some of the formatting options available are Making the header row bold, Changing font, Font color and font size of the cell contents. Table Styles MS Word provides you with pre-formatted table styles to assist you in easily formatting your tables. These styles are available in the Table Styles group of Design tab. You can see some table styles in the Table Styles group. 
When you click on the down arrow highlighted in Table Styles group, many more style options become available. Choose any of the styles to apply to format your table. You can also apply shading to a table. You will find the shading option in the Table Styles group on Design tab. When you click it, shading menu will appear. Select any theme color or standard color to your table. If you don't want to choose any color, then click on No Color. Click on More Colors option from the drop-down menu to add more custom or standard colors. Table shade will be applied on the selected table. To add borders to a table, follow the given steps. Select a table you want to add a border to. You will find the Borders option on the Table Tool Design tab. Click on the down arrow next to it. Select any border type to your selected table. Border will be added to the selected table. Column Width and Row Height When you create a table, the cells have a standard size. However, if you want, you can change column width and row height in a table. Suppose that you need to increase the size of first row and decrease the size of first column of your table. To do this, follow the given steps. Click on first cell and then click on layout tab. Click on properties option in table group. Table properties dialog box will appear. Check on Specify Height under the Row tab. Enter the Row Height in Specify Height box. Even simpler, click on Increase or Decrease button to change the size or height of row. There is a drop-down box in front of Row Height Is. Select At Least or Exactly. To change the row, click on Previous Row and Next Row button. To decrease the width of column, click on Column tab next to Row tab. Check on Preferred Width and enter the column width in Preferred Width box. Again, you can also click on Increase or Decrease button to change width of column. To select Measurement Type, click on Down arrow next to the Measure In box and select Inches or Percent from the drop-down menu. To change the column, click on Previous Column and Next Column button. Click OK to see the result. Merging Cells Combining two or more table cells into a single cell is called merging. Follow these steps to merge cells in a table. Create a table. Select any two cells. In the Layout tab, go to the Merge group, find and click on Merge Cells icon. The selected cells are merged. Splitting Cells When a single cell is split into two or more cells, it is known as splitting cells. Follow the given steps to split a cell. Insert a new table in your document. Click your cursor inside any cell. Go to the Layout tab. In the Merge group, find and click on Split Cells icon. The Split Cells dialog box will appear. Enter the number of columns and rows you want within the cell in the respective text boxes. Press OK to split the cell. Splitting Table just like a cell can be split into multiple cells, even a table can be split horizontally into two. Follow these steps to split a table. Click in the cell through which you want to split the table. Click on Split Table icon in the Merge group of the Layout tab to split the table. 